heavyweight fight. Our tale of the tape shows you that Maori has a significant height and also a reach advantage. Once again, Michael C. Williams. And now, ladies and gentlemen, tonight at Mohegan Sun, we go to the heavyweight division. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing the blue corner at six foot three, weighing in 243 and one quarter pounds. His professional record undefeated at four and zero oh by way of Belgium. He fights out of Istanbul, Turkey. Gokhan Sarichon. And across the cage, his adversary out of the red corner at six foot eight, weighing in 243 and one half pounds. He too stands undefeated as a professional. He brings six victories without a defeat. He fights out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Steve Maury. And the referee in charge of the action, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee, take a look at Steve Maori's work. This was Maori in his first fight. Beautiful Americana, not allowing his opponent to see the setup. And then in his second fight, he took some big shots, but got this takedown, leading to a Kimura win. An outstanding cover behind victory for Steve Maori. So we have one man 4-0. That man, Steve Maori, is 6-0. Maori in the red gloves. Sorry, Chum, in the blue gloves. A combined 10 wins, a combined 10 finishes for this matchup in the heavyweight division. Both these guys are representing really good camps, Mike. You got Maori coming out of Hard Knocks, and you've got Sorry, Chum, coming out of Gegard Musasi's camp. Both guys, you know, are training with the very best. Gaywick and the Musasi brothers. Costello Van Steenis, part of that camp. Of course, we'll see him in a couple of weeks back inside the Bellator cage. Born in Belgium, fighting out of Turkey in the Blue Gloves. Born in Pittsburgh, fighting out of Hard Knocks, 365, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Steve Maori. That was a big right hand that Maori just slipped by. Sorry, Chum Land, try looking to land. Big, heavy shots, nice uppercut. And that left hook keeps on fighting its mark. The height advantage, five inches. The reach advantage, three inches. Now he has the height advantage. You notice his head keeps on staying right in that center line. No head movement. Good job of closing the distance, getting himself to a point where he gets the takedown. And I will tell you that Steve Mowry on the ground, he's very good. He does not just stay in one place. He sets up submissions and he goes for it. Well, we just saw in the highlights, John, and you talked about his two finishes in the Bellator cage, both by submission and both in the very first round. This is where he has a big advantage over a lot of opponents. When you're six foot eight, and you've got those long arms. If you posture, you can sit back, you can create a space and bring either punches or decide to come with elbows, and you're usually keeping your chin out of the distance range of your opponent. Sorry, Chung, trying to control the posture of Steve Maori, 27 years old. Watch out for that up kick. It's close, it touched it. Back on the feet, midway point of round one. Yeah, exactly what I'm looking, I'm seeing the Steve Maori. Look at that left arm, look at that elbow sticking up out to the side. He's open to be hit to the body. Sorry, Chip, seeing the exact same thing, going to the body and then bringing it upstairs. So it's the left arm, with the man in the red glove, Steve Mowry, the big John's talking about. Let's see if Gokan, sorry, Chum, can take advantage of that opening. See that arm sticking up? That elbow's way out. I want to tuck that elbow down. If you're sorry, Chum, a beautiful jab up high, bring his hands up, hook to the body. You can already see some damage on the right side of Steve Mowry's face up by his eyes. He's already got a little bit of swelling going there. 
which may be the reason John Wyatt's hand is a little bit higher than ideal range. Under 90 seconds now, round one. Now he has that, if he continues on with that, there you go. It's not always that first take down attempt, it's chaining it together, changing directions. Beautiful job by Steve Bauer to get that to the ground. Pretty sure Chael P knows a little bit of something about that. Chael would be proud of him over that one. Absolutely. Elbows, show elbows, show elbows. Yeah, show elbows. Let's work. Don't worry. He's going to come. Keep working. He's going to give it tonight. Nice job of a setup by Maui. You see how he immediately went for that Americana. Didn't get it. But that's when submissions work. Don't show your hand. You don't want to show your opponent. It's like playing poker. I want to lead you down a path, and then I jump on you. Side control here in the last minute of round number one for Maori. Amongst the training partners of Steve Maori is the skyscraper, Stefan Struve. 6'11", Stefan Struve, Clinton Bissell, Anthony Rumble Johnson. Strength and conditioning with Dr. Corey Peacock. Big John, a good first five minutes for Steve Maury. It was a good, for, good five minutes for both as they both had their moments. Obviously, Maury had the advantage when they were on the ground, and in the stand up, go ahead had his moments where he landed big shots and had Maori in a little bit of trouble. So it's a matter now you're going to know. You're going to see that Sarakam is going to try to stay on his feet and Maori's going to try to get him to the ground. So on your unofficial scorecard, who gets round one? I think that the judges are going to end up giving that round to Maori based upon that last bit that they saw. But it's a, it was a close round and both guys have their advantages. It's just who can maintain it. There's that body shot that you talked about. Nice and a nice takedown. Take and this is where you can see that Steve Maury has a decided advantage when the fight hits the ground. He's the one that's offensive. You're seeing that Sara Kachum is doing everything defensively. Here he goes for that Kramer now. If he gets that leg over the head, that's going to really increase the pressure. Now he's a And it's all over! Another submission win by Kamora for Steve Maury. To make it official, Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, it comes to an end officially. 56 seconds, round number two, the tap. By way of a Kimura, by submission, the winner still, undefeated Steve.